Hi, it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. To make this last week of October more fun and exciting, I decided that we should do a few STEM activities this week. Today we're going to revisit one of the activities that we did this summer, but we're going to add a twist to it. We're going to make lava lamps today. And when we did that this summer, we used tap water or just regular bottled water. And today, what we are going to do is use tonic water. So tonic water is a carbonated water that has quinine in it. And quinine will react in a black light or in the light from a UV purple pointer and kind of glow. So if you have either a black light lamp or a UV pointer, stick around, this will be fun. So we're going to use the same ingredients to make it that we used last time. So we have vinegar, baking soda, which you probably remember my jar of baking soda, vegetable oil, and the tonic water. The equipment that we're going to use is a jar and a measuring spoon. The recipe calls for a tablespoon measure, and all I have is a teaspoon measure here, but luckily we know that three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. So we'll just measure three times for every one tablespoon we want to use. So here's the procedure. We're going to put two to three tablespoons of baking soda in the jar. And since we know that three tablespoons, three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, we will put six teaspoons of baking soda in the jar. We're going to take the tonic water and fill our jar about a quarter full. I'm going to wait for the bubbles to die down some so I can get a gauge on how much more we need. The next step is to add vegetable oil till we're about three quarters full. And I'm going to add just a little more of the tonic water. There we go. That looks about right to me. Now if you do this, you are not going to want to just dump this down your drain when you're done. So you're going to need a bag to dump everything into to get rid of it. So now we're going to add our tablespoon of vinegar and as we know one three teaspoons equals one tablespoon so we're going to add three of the teaspoons and there you are We did mention that the tonic water glows in the UV, so I'm going to get rid of some of these lights and see if we can get our tonic water to glow. And there we are. Now I'm going to quick recharge that with a little more vinegar and be ready with the light while I'm doing it. So you can get the full effect.
So that activity was again powered by the reaction of vinegar and baking soda and I just want to quick show you the chemical formula for that reaction. So vinegar C2H4O2 plus baking soda sodium carbonate NaHCO3 yields sodium acetate water and carbon dioxide. And so the gas that's given off that causes the bubbling is the carbon dioxide and that is what powers that reaction. I hope you enjoyed this our second make a lava lamp activity and I hope you enjoyed the aspect of it glowing in the UV light because of the quinine. We'll be back later in the week with a few more STEM activities. Until then, I hope you have fun. Thank you.